Hi, Phil Ciccio here. I want to talk to you about fear because fear is what holds most people back. Now think about fear for a moment. Fear is having an idea or a picture or you're playing a movie in your mind of something that hasn't even happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. We're fearful of something that hasn't happened yet. And because the subconscious mind doesn't know that the picture that you're holding in your mind of whatever that fear might be isn't real, it doesn't know that it isn't real, so it causes your body to act in such a way like if it was real. In other words, it creates anxiety in your body even though it's just a picture in your mind and it hasn't even happened yet. An example would be this. Maybe somebody asks you to speak in public or say a toast and just put you on the spot and suddenly you have to get up and speak in front of a group of people. Now, the movie that's playing in your mind, if you're not used to speaking in front of a lot of people, is probably a movie that would cause you to not feel good. It would give you anxiety because you think maybe you're going to botch your words or you might say something that will make you look foolish. And all of this stuff that you're conjuring up in your mind hasn't even happened. But guess what? Your subconscious mind doesn't know what hasn't happened. It thinks it's real and it's happening right now. So what it does is it causes your body to get anxious. It causes your body, maybe you would even vomit. Some people vomit when they get so worked up about something that hasn't even happened yet. Because fear isn't real. It just feels real because the subconscious mind doesn't know it's not real. So what happens is at the conscious level, that thing that you're thinking about, that, that fear, that picture that you're creating in your mind causes worry. At the subconscious level or the feeling level, it causes you know, fear, which is the, what we're talking about. And then the body, it causes anxiety. When these three things come together, worry, fear, and anxiety, a terror barrier comes up. My mentor, Bob Proctor, taught me about this. He said, all of a sudden, these three, three things come together and you suddenly face a terror barrier. Now, most people won't push through the barrier. You know what they do? They decide to not do the thing that's causing the fear and they go back to where it's comfortable. But back where it's comfortable is where you're tied down, right? You're locked in, you're, you're, you're stuck. When you know that if you just broke through that terror barrier, everything that you would want is on the other side. You'd conquer your fear and feel more confident. You get the things that you want. You have to understand that fear is an imagination. It's something that you're creating in your mind's eye that isn't even real yet, but feels real. Even though it feels real, you still just gotta push through. It's not gonna cause the fear to go away. I'll tell you that. You're still gonna be afraid, but you gotta do it anyways. Because fear and hope and faith, they're all the same. They're, they're things that you create in your mind's eye, things that, that aren't even real yet, but feel real. Don't let fear stop you. If you want to learn more about fear or any other topic that I teach, just click on the link in this post or on the video. Thank you.